what I've done in the past and what I do now is completely different. And as I said, I deep breathe, I deep breathe, no I don't deep breathe because that would be very, that would be weird. <laughs> Were you ever told years ago, count to ten from your, from probably from your parents and you thought, oh, count to ten, I want to scream, <laughs> I want to go mad. Hello and welcome back to Totally Evelyn. And this week we're going to be talking about stress. I've got my cup of tea already. We always need a nice cup of tea or a cup of coffee when we're dealing with stress. But he's been saying to me, how the heck are you so calm? If you were any more relaxed, <laughs> you would be horizontal. Well, I'm not really. I've just over the years managed to deal with stress. And boy, have I had my share of... Um, situations shall we say and give you some tips on what to do and what not to do and i hope this is going to be helpful i hope you've been watching all the videos if anything's to go on stress then i have been absolutely put to the challenge this week and so i've managed to deal with my stress quite good really quite good <laughs> considering you would not believe what i've been doing this week well when things go wrong we tend to get too hit up and we tend to you get all legionated and then everybody gets all hit up and everybody gets so passionate and um fireworks start going off everywhere <laughs> well that's what happens in our family and I find that with with anything that's stressful in your life, I, I tend to think it's like a challenge. And I tend to think, well, why did that happen to me? Why is everything happening all at the same time? Do you, do you ever get that? I always get that. I think when something goes wrong, it just continues to go wrong. And it usually happens when you're really up against it. Like this week, for example, I've been crazy busy with as you know, I've got a property business and I've been trying to get apartments ready and it's the rugby weekend this weekend. So everything has been just at a really fast pace. When I find that I can deal with my own stress, but I can't tend to um, cope quite so much when someone lets you down or when they're rude people. I just find I can't really cope with people that are rude. So when somebody's rude to me, I have to sit and I have to, I have to take deep breaths <laughs> and count to ten. Were you ever told years ago, count to ten from your, from probably from your parents, and you thought, oh, count to ten, I want to scream, <laughs> I want to go mad. Well, it does work. I can tell you it does work. So count to ten, guys. Just count to ten. That's a start. Deep breathe. Count to ten. Try and think of stress, something that's happened that you didn't want to happen and somebody's caused that. You think, I'm blaming that person, that person's done something really bad and it's actually put me back an hour, put me back two hours. Over the years, I used to get very, very um, agitated about things like that because I, if it wasn't my fault, <laughs> if it wasn't me that actually made me late because I'm really bad for being late anyway, but if somebody else makes me late, then I'm like, oh, oh my goodness, and I want to go on a tangent. What I've done in the past and what I do now is completely different. And as I said, I deep breathe, I deep breathe, no I don't deep breathe because that would be very, that would be weird. <laughs> I don't deep breathe, honestly. <laughs> what I do is I breathe, I just take a little time and just let it pass. And then I count to 10. And then I say, right, how are we going to fix this? Because all it is, is something that's went wrong. And it sometimes is that you're being tested that's always a good thing, isn't it? So don't look at it harshly and get too upset and get depressed and too stressed out. Look at it that it could be a, ch a bit of a challenge and it's a learning curve as well. That means that if something goes wrong, the next time you can then put a plan in place and say, well, that will never happen again. And maybe have a bath when you get home. <laughs> I always say, have a nice hot bath have a glass of red wine or white wine or whatever it is that you like. Lie in the bath, 
put your music on. I love my Thomas Jack. After what happened that day, give myself a pat as well. Just give yourself a little pat on the back or the shoulder or whatever. Give yourself a little pat and say to yourself, actually, I managed to get through that day. How good was that? I, I think that works. And then laugh at yourself. Just laugh. Let it pass. It's not going to put you down. Tomorrow's another day. And I think it's easy for me to say that because I'm 53 year old. And of course, I've had all the trials and tribulations of, well, one divorce, <laughs> splitting up in my relationships in the past. Um, but the worst one really to deal with was my mum being terminally ill. And I think after that, being faced with um, a life, I am now able to see when something goes wrong, nobody's hurt. It's not a life. If you've dealt with um, a death or if you've dealt with something major like a divorce, <laughs> a breakup, if you've been able to deal with all these things, then that's almost um, put you in a position whereby that anything trivial that happens, as much as it's very, um, hold you back and it makes you feel that you want to go crazy, <laughs> then I would suggest you don't go crazy because just relax. And think about what you've dealt with in the past and how good you dealt with that. And so that's my kind of take on stress because when when I look back even dealing with um, my mum being terminally ill and also I was running my own business, I'm still running my own business, because it's a holiday let business, I've, uh, you have still have to deal with your work, you still have to deal with the stress that goes with your work, you still have to deal with any insignificant, which is what I would call it when I was going through the the biggest heartbreaking time of my life is when I was challenged to the full, but I had to take a deep breath and say, this is work. Put your personal things aside as much as you wanted to scream. You know what's going on with me. Do you know what's happening to me? <laughs> Do you know what I'm going through? This is, um, this is, they don't know. So they they just continue to be some people very, very, badly behaved, very rude, but you don't have to be like that. You have to be you. So when somebody's rude <laughs> and somebody is really challenging you to the, um, to the point of you want to go crazy, as I keep using that word crazy, well, especially when, you know, somebody, when, I, when my mum was dying, when my mum was terminally ill and she was in the hospice and I was on, someone was on the phone and they were being so unreasonable and really, really rude. And that was very difficult to cope with. So that, I guess, is one, one of the things that I tend to think, look back on and say to myself, you know what, if I was able to cope with that all these years ago, when something happens, like, for example, <laughs> here, you're going to laugh at this. I was doing a house up and I had everything in my car. And I had a BMW car at the time. Now, my car was being used as a van. And I reversed my car to get everything into the apartment. And as I reversed the car, I hit a bollard. And my friend was in the car because she was helping me. And she said, Evelyn, you've just hit your car at the back. You've just hit a, ba a bollard. And I was like, really? I know. I don't care. It's a car. It's a car. And yet, years ago, I would have been going, oh my God, so stressed. Oh my goodness, what have I done? And I just decided that it wasn't worth worrying about because I had to get the job done. And I thought, I'll fix, I'll deal with that later. That's what I do. I say, I'll deal with you later. Just let me get through my day. So that's how I deal with stress. And if you do get down in the dumps and you start to feel depressed, um, then try and be positive. That's all I would say is don't, don't let anything as trivial as people, it's usually people that cause you stress. It's usually rude people, I think sometimes, or it's usually time management and sometimes you've just got to blame yourself and laugh at yourself and say, well, that was actually me. I could have done things a bit differently. 
and keep positive and always say I can do that never say you can't do that always say I can and I will and I'll do it and that will get you through the day guys and if you tell yourself remember if you tell yourself you can't do something if you tell yourself I'm going to go in my bed today because that happened I can't cope with that then what's going to happen is you're going to continually go to your bed you're going to continually let people beat you down you want to deal with that and then tomorrow you say no I'm going to be stronger for that I'm going to be stronger and I'm going to learn from that and I'm going to put plans in place so that never happens again and that's my little video on stress guys and I hope you like it and if there's anything I um, if, if there's anything you want me to talk about then please um, put in the comments I keep I keep saying put it in the comments because I'd be I'd be totally really excited to get some comments I've not been doing this for very long and I plan to be doing one every week maybe two every week and so yeah but on on the side of oh the other thing I meant to say here I go again I'm always doing this but the other thing I was going to say is treat yourself when you get stressed I always tend to say I'm going to treat myself to something a good book get yourself in the bath a book a glass of wine forget about what happened that day and enjoy the rest of your evening <laughs> I can't say any more than that honestly get yourself organized get yourself a day in the diary for a night out get yourself look forward to something I mean I tend to go up Arthur's seat when I'm when I feel very stressed I'll take a walk right up the hills and that's when I tend to sit on the top of the hill and I have a little conversation with my mum because I'm up in the clouds and I'm sitting there and I'll have a little conversation and I'll tell my mum exactly what happened on that day and I always feel when I'm coming back that I'm that I've had the answer honestly and even when I'm going on holiday if I go on holiday on my own I book a flight I'm off I go away on my own because my work is very much like feast or famine so when I've had a week like I've had this week then I'll tend to say right get yourself a holiday a couple of days two or three days even a week and just go in the sun enjoy your own company and just relax but what I always do when I get on that flight I get my little Bacardi and Diet Coke I love a Bacardi I don't know why but I tend to love a Bacardi and Diet Coke on the flight and as soon as it goes up in the sky I've got my music on and I'm right through the clouds and I'm talking to my mum and I'm telling her all what's happened in that week and and I'm just having nice thoughts and really looking forward to a well-deserved holiday and that's how you get through stress I'm really looking forward to next week's video because I'm going to be doing it on Valentine's Day of course and I don't have a partner so my Valentine's is going to be extra special because I'm going to be celebrating Valentine's Day my way <laughs> so i'll speak to you soon take care for now and thank you so much for all your comments thank you very much for subscribing and i'll chat to you next week for valentine's day bye thank you